Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering NFL Week 5, and I'm covering the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Before I get right into that, make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all my predictions each and every week so you can make the best decisions for yourself throughout the week. Uh, without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Coming into this game, we saw the Bengals get their very first win. And then you look at Joe Burrow and how well he played in that football game. Um, a couple of big things happened in the game. Joe connected with a lot of different receivers. His confidence level looked amazing. Um, and then you're just looking at overall the coaching staff. What were they able to do successfully in Joe Burrow's first win? They did a lot of things well. So they have a lot of game tape that they can go over and and really cut up splice and put together and make sure they're giving joe the best possible protections and making sure joe mixon is in the mix they got to get aj green more involved i know he's getting a lot of targets but they have to get him better throws to where he's in better situations a little one-on-one -on -one coverage won't wouldn't hurt um, but you look at aj being in cincy he needs to catch the ball consistently to help this team get more victories more often. Look at um, just where the Ravens were. Uh, the Ravens ran up and down Washington National Football Team all day long. Lamar Jackson, as I mentioned in another video, had a spectacular run, 50 plus yards, and just seeing what he's doing. In this game, he was looking like the, the MVP Lamar Jackson, not having a care in the world, pinpointing throws, being able to run consistently, not having any issues with the defense. He was looking like the MVP from last year's regular season. So uh, the, the Bengals have their work cut out for themselves. When this Ravens team is playing like this, it's hard to beat them. When that three-headed monster at running back comes, and then you have to deal with Lamar Jackson when he comes, and then you have to deal with the defense in their opportunistic ways. You have to deal with how well they get aggressive and they can recover on as a, as a defense at many different positions. These are things you have to worry about with the Baltimore Ravens. When I'm overall looking at this rivalry, I think that in, a, in the past couple of years, you know, Ravens have had success early on versus the Bengals because they didn't have quarterback play to support them. Uh, when you look at just what they had as far as Andy Dalton, he wasn't uh, making the biggest throws. He wasn't standing in the pocket. He got gun shy a little bit to where if they sent a blitz, he was just firing the first thing that came off. Joe Burrow is not going to do that. Joe is standing in the pocket. He's standing tall, and he's looking, and he's taking those big hits. But he's also launching the ball down the field. I think that if you're the Ravens, you have to stay aggressive in this football game. You won't be able to break Joe Burrow in this game, but you'll be able to outlast Joe Burrow in this game. I think that not only that, you'll get a couple of turnovers because if you stay aggressive with this, the kid will take chances. He's a gunslinger. He's smart with the football, but sometimes he gets a little aggressive uh, and he'll try to get the Bengals involved early and often from the wide receiver position and he'll try to force a couple of throws. That's when the Ravens are going to take over on defense in this game, and I think that's what the X factor is. The defense for uh, the Baltimore Ravens is going to be a big difference in this game, and I think that's what's going to separate them from winning and losing, and I'm picking the Baltimore Ravens to win this AFC North battle with the Bengals. All you Bengals fans, all you Ravens fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, check out Sports Choice Plus each and every week for all your breakdowns for NFL and NBA action. And as always, we thank you so very much for supporting us. Please make sure you go ahead and like the Facebook page. Go ahead and share in your sports group some of our video content. And thank you once again for subscribing. Have a great day, everybody.